playing music here in Vietnam, uh, Curtis has made many friends with well-known Vietnamese artists, and they play music together, jam, as well as get to know each other a little bit better. So let's take a look at that. Every time Curtis and his friends meet, they take the chance to show each other something new. This time, Curtis brought along an unusual-looking flute, which he bought on the street some days before. Perhaps the newest thing at the get-together this time is the appearance of the newest member. Her skill at playing the two-string guitar made Simon, a veteran member of the Curtis King Band, curious. He finally decided to give it a try. Ấn tượng đầu tiên thì là thấy mọi người rất là 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 vui vẻ và rất là hài hước, rất là dễ gần. Curtis seemed to focus more on the đàn bầu, or monochord, played by his longtime Vietnamese friend, Minh Hà. He had a good reason to do so, as he wants to recreate the sounds of the đàn bầu on his own guitar. He said that this is a torrento đàn bầu. <laughs> I know that. I know that song. I know. And this morning I tried. Mỗi lần gặp Curtis hay là ban nhạc của anh thì đều là đều là một lần thư giãn, <cười> bởi vì không có sự gò bó cũng như là không uh, không có một cái gì cũng như là lời mời đầu tiên anh nói với tôi là em tham gia ban nhạc này là vui là chính thì tôi cũng càng ngày con tôi càng nghiệm thấy câu nói của anh là 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 đúng với cả cái ý nghĩa anh nói với tôi như trước đây là vui là chính. Sharing a passion for the musical genres that Curtis plays and the way he plays them is also another reason for his friends to join him. Curtis can play all kinds of music, everything from jazz to blues. I prefer when he plays rock and punk because that's what I that's what I like. So. Playing the Jew harp, or Dan Moy, is another specialty of Curtis's, which he also treated his friends to at today's meeting. The weekly small music party among these friends ended with a joint performance. The merry melody is created by both Western and Vietnamese traditional musical instruments, brought the musicians closer to each other as they had done in past gatherings and hopefully also in those to come. So our guest on Talk Vietnam today is Curtis King. And joining us in the studio, we have two of his bandmates. We have Miss Ming Ha, who plays the Dan Bo, which is the monochord we saw. And also Jake the Snake, who plays the <laughs> flute. And we'll find out why you're called Snake later. Um, uh. But you've been with uh, Curtis on many of his tours, is that correct? Performances? Uh, I met Curtis about two years ago, actually. And, and you've been uh, playing ever since then? Yeah, uh, we just kind of linked up together, and I was playing uh, a different kind of music, playing more jazz-like stuff, and mm -hmm. Curtis asked me if I could play some blues and rock and roll on the bamboo flute. On the bamboo flute. And I said, yeah, let's do it. So he invited me on, on stage, and uh, we just kind of meshed at that point. And Click it's, then? It's been... Two years going on ever since, yeah. <laughs> now, did he, Curtis give you the nickname Jake the Snake, or did that come earlier? <laughs> no, actually, uh, that occurred uh, from an actual snake bite. Ah, and look so, at that. He's so I have a uh, con rung on, uh, uh, on the ankle. Con rung. Yeah, yeah, he has a con and, uh, <laughs> leg. <laughs> so that's where it really began for me, but it just kind of caught on, and we decided that that would be a good, good stage, good stage name. name. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's kind of stuck. This is a question for the, the both of you huh, and Jake. Um, when you're on stage and, and you know you're playing with Curtis, how does it feel up there? Ha. Uh, I feel very comfortable. And, very comfortable. Uh, the first time he asked me to try with his band, I, I feel very nervous. Uh -huh. That uh, how how can the Chari Vietnamese traditional musical instrument can try together with the uh, jazz, jazz blue band? Yeah. So I just um, worry. And but when I come to the stage and try with him, I feel very very comfortable and ah, it's a very great it's a good and, experience. Yeah, very it's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so and so you feel good now. First nervous and now you feel comfortable. It's great. Oh, very, very. 
and 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 give, he gives me very good condition and good feeling to try with his band. That's awesome. Very well done. And Jake, today, I mean, um, do you guys work together? Is it a lot of collaboration or uh, uh, in terms of? It's pretty producing? spontaneous. Hmm. You know, my incursion in the in in the in the band is kind of like an expressionist painting. It's an impression, and. Uh, Curtis gives me the, the space on stage to be very creative. Hence, it stretches me musically, mm -hmm. and I, but I'm very relaxed playing with Curtis. That's great. Just very relaxed. That's what you kind of need on the stage, right? You Feeling have relaxed to have that, and comfortable. Because it, it translates out into the audience, you know. Sure. So, they, they can tell so when we, you're nervous. We get along quite well on and off stage. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Having uh, Miss Hat play those traditional instruments on stage, Curtis, is that what you always intended to have when you came to Vietnam? And started up this music? Not really, not really. Um, it's only been the last couple of years that I've realized that we can do this, where we bring in some traditional instruments. Um, it takes a certain amount of understanding on my part of the instruments sure. to know how to bring them in. Um, we had some experience in, in China with the, uh, the Dan Chang player. Mm -hmm. So I need to learn a little bit about the instruments. I don't know much about the Dan Bao, but I'm, I'm learning more about that and how it can come into the, uh, the sound. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the Danbao, without an amplifier, you won't hear anything. So sure. if we're playing in a rock band, uh, how do we make the audience hear, hear the wonderful music that she's doing? Mm -hmm. ha, when you work with Curtis, do you two work together to make these arrangements? Because you obviously know about the Danbao, and Curtis is still learning. Um, what is that process like to put together the, the music? Um, we know each other a very long time ago, but mm -hmm. uh, um, <coughs> at that time he invited her my band to try with the Goody Skin band, mm -hmm. but at that time we were too busy. And right now um, I not try to the, uh, with the girl brand, now I have a free time, so mm -hmm. we, we try together, not for a long, long time, but um, <coughs> we must be mixed more and more. Yeah. And I think uh, the Vietnam's traditional music adjustment very, very... Um, uh, very nice to mix it together with sure. the Western music, mm -hmm. and uh, especially is it blues, jazz. It works well. Yeah, because the um, the color of the of the sound is very very nice, mm. and Curtis he loves that sound. I love that sound yeah. together. Yeah. Now, <coughs> has there been any difficulty, um, kind of b moving into this blues world with your Dunbo? <laughs> Uh, uh, I think must be uh, practice more and more because uh, must be have a good hearing, good good ear. ear. Yep. Yeah, you have to have a good ear. Sure. <laughs> no, no. Maybe I have to practice more. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about for you, Jake? I mean, how is it playing with in a band with all these different, you know, types of instruments and and different like cultures being melded together? Well, because I mean, because I play a traditional Asian instrument. Sure. Um, I've always been fascinated by by the the. The indigenous monocord. instruments yeah. in, in the country and it's you know but my background is is a western background and playing a bamboo flute i mean everybody can relate to the bamboo flute but to listen to her play uh just amazes me so have you guys ever tried playing the monochord have you ever taught curtis how to play <laughs> you try it already. you tried it how did that go i can do it i can i I wanted to get into this about two years ago with the uh, the Dunbao, mm -hmm. and I found a girl from uh, I think she was from Hanoi, and we only needed about eight seconds, right? And she wanted to charge me five hundred dollars for just this little eight second segment. I'm like, hmm. Wow. I think I can do this myself, <laughs> and I learned how to do it on the guitar mm -hmm. using a different. Can I show you? Or no? Yeah, if you, you want to pull see? it up, a little yeah. demonstration. Dunbao guitar. Yeah, this is Dunbao. Oh, we, I, we may not be able to hear it That's very okay. well. This is Dunbao Oops. guitar. So it's the same idea. Like they're plucking a harmonic, uh -huh. right? So the sound goes up and I down. I see. Same as a Dunbao. So you played on the guitar. So I did it myself and saved five hundred. So not exactly yeah. playing the denbo though. It was it was close enough that most people, most Vietnamese people, when they heard it, they're like, "Oh, that's a nice denbo." <laughs> that was like cool. couldn't tell the difference. All right, <laughs> fooled them. <laughs> and we, and and we, we had five hundred dollars worth of beer that day. Though. There you go. Spend <laughs> it helps. another way, right? You save five hundred dollars. <laughs> um, can you play any other uh, traditional instruments? Hmm. I can get by on the uh, dan chai. Mm -hmm. um, flutes, no. 
uh, there's a different kind of bamboo flute, but um, mm -hmm. Jake is the expert at that. Um, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. Just the guitar. Okay. Try.